昔はよくゲームやってたもんだ。昔は今も週末ゲームするでしょああ、人は変わらないもんだね。こんにちは、ジャパニーズアーモのミサです。Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to use ものだ、もんだ。So before we jump into the actual grammar point, もの means thing, object, usually tangible object. Okay, so for example, 高いものはいらない means I don't need expensive stuff. Like I don't need expensive things. Right? So you can say, 高いもの美味しいもの would mean yummy things. So delicious food. Often your parents would say, なんか美味しいものでも食べようか。なんか美味しいものでも食べようか。Let's get something yummy. So you will hear this なんか blah blah mono as well. なんかをなにか means something. So instead of saying おいしいなにか something yummy or、uh, you have to add this extra mono. なにかおいしいものおなにかかわいいものがほしい I want something cute. <laughs> And there are loads of compound nouns using this mono. For example, 食べ物 food. 飲み物 drink. 乗り物乗る is to ride. 乗り物 vehicle. 買い物買う is to buy. 買い物 is shopping. If it's a 買う物 then that means things to buy.、Okay? So, 今日買う物は牛乳とトイレットペーパー。Things to buy today are milk and toilet papers. Or 忘れ物 lost items. 忘れる is to forget. Right, so, forgotten item, lost item. Or you can, for example, say, 使ったものは片付けて Or you say, 借りたものを返す To return something you borrowed. Or I will return something I borrowed. 借りた is borrowed. 借りたもの Remember a verb in front of noun? That verb is modifying the noun. Right, so, things I borrowed. So you can use it like that. And there is also koto, right? So a lot of people don't understand the differences between koto and mono. Remember that mono is usually tangible objects. So things you can buy, touch, see, right? Whilst koto does mean things, but it's often like actions, like things to do. You'd say suru koto, or things you're thinking about. 考えていること。Or, is there anything I can help you with? That anything is used probably an action, right? Like you do something, like an action, to help that person, right? So you'd say, 手伝えることはありますか手伝えることはありますか And there are more to it, but that's what I want you to remember for now. Now, let's dive into this mono da. So, this example sentence. Hito wa kawara nai mono da. People don't change. So, hito, people. Kawaru is to change. Kawara nai is not change. Right? And then mono da. So, this mono da at the end is used when you state a common belief, popular belief. Or general knowledge. For example, 吸血鬼はニンニクが嫌いなものだ。吸血鬼 or vampire, like vampires. ニンニク garlic, ニンニクが嫌い They don't like garlic. ものだ That's the general knowledge, or that's the common belief. So when you use ものだ the statement is quite objective. You're saying that that's the common belief. Okay? And also when you're just stating a fact, right? Something that normally happens, something that generally happens. For example, nobody is perfect. People are not perfect. You can say, Hito wa kanpeki janai mono da. Hito wa kanpeki janai. Not perfect. Mono da. So generally speaking, people are not perfect. Or、oh, living things are supposed to die eventually, right? 
生き物はいつか死ぬものだ。生き物 living things, いつか eventually, 死ぬものだ。They are supposed to die. So you can often translate this ものだ as to be supposed to or normally. You will also often hear そういうものだ or そんなものだ And that means that's the way it is. For example, a very common phrase 人生そんなもんだよ or 人生そんなものだ That's life. You can use そんなもんだよ like it is what it is. You might have expected more, but it is how it is. <laughs> そんなもんだよ So you can use the informal forms, casual forms of verbs, right? So, 死ぬものだ Or you can also use negation. 変わらないものだ Just make sure not to use mass form, okay? For adjective, it's the same. Don't use des. Just put the adjectives like 難しいものです Supposed to be difficult. 難しくないものです If it's an adjective, keep the na there. So, 嫌いなものです Right? 吸血鬼はニンニクが嫌いなものです So, formally, when speaking, you'd say ものです Informally, you'd say もんだ So, you change もの into もん That's more informal. もんだ Or We often add ne or yo at the end. Mon da ne, mon da yo. Ne is usually to seek agreement. So, ne is usually used like, right, do you agree? So if I say, hito wa kawaranai mon da ne, people sure don't change, huh? So it's like, huh? Right?、Uh, if I say yo at the end, yo is used when I assume that the listener doesn't know. So it's like giving new information. So, 人生そんなもんだよ That's life. Maybe you didn't know, but that's life. <laughs> And ものだ sounds quite formal, although technically this is meant to be the formal speech, right? ものだ is often used in writing. So, 生き物はいつか死ぬものだ It sounds like It could be a sentence that was in a book. So, when casually speaking, just use mon da, mon da yo, mon da ne. When speaking formally, you say mono des. Moving on, this mono da, mono des are also used like beki da, beki des. So, beki means should do something because that's a common sense. Or because that's what society expects from you. It's basically the same. Do you remember? お年寄りに席を譲るべきです。お年寄りに席を譲るべきだ。You should give up your seat for the elderly people. Here you can say ものだ instead of べき。お年寄りに席を譲るものです。お年寄りに席を譲るものだ。So the difference between べき and もの is that べき is like advice. Like you should do that because that's what normal people do. Whilst ものだ is just stating fact. That's the general knowledge. That's what most people believe. So when you say ものだ you're technically not telling anyone to do anything. Right? You're not saying you should do something. It's just It's a popular opinion that you should <laughs> give up your seat. Okay? But in the end, it's saying the same thing, right? So, for example, 子供は寝るもんだ Again, you can change ものinto もん to make it more informal, right? 子供は寝るもんだ Children are supposed to sleep. Children should sleep. Another example, 借りたら返すもんだ。借りたら返すものです。Basically the same as 借りたら返すべき。You should return what you borrow. So, 借りたら、this たら means if or when.、Right? So, when you borrow something, return. You should return it. 
Caritara caese monda. Another example. You should apologize if you do something bad. So, here, something bad, you'd say, warui koto. Okay? So, when you, you do something bad, the bad thing is not the tangible thing. It's not like a watch or, you know, teddy bear. It's something you do that is bad, right? It's an action. So, you use koto, not mono. So, warui koto o shitara. So, if you do something bad, ayamaru mono da. You are supposed to, you should apologize. And that's a common sense. Atari mae. Now, when you want to say you shouldn't do something, you can say mon ja nai, informally, mon ja nai, or mono de wa nai, more formally. For example, waruguchi o yu mon ja nai, waruguchi o yu mon ja nai. You shouldn't bad mouth. You shouldn't bad mouth others. Here, again, you can say beki ja nai instead. Waruguchi o yubeki janai. Waruguchi o yubeki janai. So formally, you can either do waruguchi o yumono dewa nai. That's the formal speech often seen in writing. Uh, and then when speaking, you can say waruguchi o yumono dewa arimasen. Pretty long, but dewa arimasen. Waruguchi o yumono dewa arimasen. Oh, you shouldn't steal. Nusumu mon ja nai. O nusumu beki ja nai. Right? O you shouldn't lie. Uso tsuku mon ja nai. O uso tsuku beki ja nai. For these forms, what I want you to remember is that you use the present tense of the verb. So, you mon ja nai. Nusumu mon janai, uso tsuku mon janai, right? But I want you to remember this one uh, idiomatic expression. Jinsei steta mon janai. Jinsei steta mon janai. So steta, it's in the past tense, right? Uh, normally, we don't put the past tense in front of this mon janai. It's just an expression that we use. Jinsei steta mon janai means life isn't so bad. So jinsei is life. Suteru is to throw away. Steta is threw away, the past tense. Steta mon janai. So you're saying it shouldn't throw away. It's not something to abandon yet. So there is still hope. So for example, you've been going through something bad, but something good happens. You can say, ha, jinsei steta mon janai. You don't have to have like bad time beforehand. You're having all right time and then something really good happens and you can still say it. You get promoted. Very common phrase. So with this jinsei, you should remember jinsei sonna mon or jinsei sonna mon da yo. That's life. And jinsei steta mon janai. Life isn't so bad. These are the two phrases I want you to especially remember from this lesson. <laughs> All right, awesome. Now moving on to the past tense ta plus monda. So I said you don't really see this past tense plus mon janai. Like Jin says, steta mon janai. This is kind of special in this expression. Uh, but if it's just monoda, that's very common. Ta monoda. Just ta mon janai, that's not very common. For example, Kazok to yoku koko ni kita monda. Kazok to yoku koko ni kita monda. This means, oh, I used to come here with my family a lot. Kazok to with my family, yoku, often. Koko ni here, to this place. Kita, that's the past tense of kuru, to come, right? So came, monda. So this monoda or monda with the past tense uh, expresses the nostalgia. So you'd often see this ta monoda with words like mukashi wa, 
and especially when the speaker used to do something often okay so that's kind of important it's not really used for something that you've just done once it has to be something you did quite often so you'd often say this ta monoda with words like mukashi wa a long time ago and yoku often so you'd see mukashi wa yoku da -da -da -da, ta monoda and again informally you'd say monda so when i was a kid i used to go to the forest to catch insects so kodomo no toki mori ni mushi o tsukamae ni itta mon da kodomo no toki when i was a kid mori ni to the forest mushi o tsukamae ni itta mon da so tsukamaeru is to catch tsukamae ni iku to go catch insects mushi mon da oh how nostalgic so I'm talking about what I used to do often a long time ago. But the key point is you don't do that anymore. Okay? So it can't be something you've done like once or it's something you still do. It's something you haven't done in ages and you feel nostalgic about it. Or I used to help my grandpa with his rice field a lot. How Japanese is that? <laughs> Yeah, my childhood basically is like helping my grandpa with his rice field, eating rice, catching insects, playing Pokemon. It's like, yeah, I was quite a bit of a tomboy, although I always liked cute things as well. But yeah. So I could, for example, say, Yoku, Sofu no Tambo no Tetsudai o Shiteita Monda. Yoku, often. Sofu no, my grandpa's, my grandfather's. Like, sofu is quite a formal word, so I guess ojii-chan no, to sound more like my grandpa's. Uh, so, yoku ojii-chan no tanbo no tetsudai o shiteita monda. So, tanbo no tetsudai is help with rice field and shiteita, that's why I was there. Instead of shiteita, I can also just say shita. Ojii-chan no tanbo no tetsudai o shita mon da. It's the same, it's just shiteita mono. This teita really just adds extra nuance that I'm thinking of a period of time. So it's like that lasted quite a long time. Or do you guys remember a walkman? <laughs> so, yoku walkman o kiite ta mon da. Yoku, often, walkman. It's like an iPod. I don't know how popular it was outside of Japan, to be honest, but it was really like an iPod, but it's like you put... There were a few stages of Walkmans as well. But yeah, you can even put the cassette tape inside. Oh my gosh. Now you can just stream music. It's crazy. I mean, I'm still 17, so... <laughs> You know, nothing is, you know, like, uh, oh, Walkman, what? iPod, what? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Walkman o kiita mon da. O, rekodo o kiita mon da. O, rekodo o kiite ta mon da. So, rekodo o kiku is to listen to vinyls. Uh, you can also say, rekodo de ongaku o kiite ta mon da. Like, to listen to music on vinyl records. So, this ta mon da, it's quite common, but actually more commonly we would say ke, ke. So this ke can be used when you can't remember something. Like, kino nani tabeta ke? What did I eat yesterday? I can't remember. So this ke is really, really useful. It just expresses that you can't remember. But this ke can also be used to recall some memories in the past. So instead of yoku kazoku to koko ni kita mon da, I can also say yoku kazoku to koko ni kita ke. Yoku kazoku to koko ni kita ke. This sounds very natural, so try using it. Ta ke. The key is to add the word yoku often. Okay? So if you say 
Kazok to koko ni kitake. Also, the way you say is in Poland as well. It means, did I come here with my family? I can't remember. <laughs> so, k still can mean, huh, I don't remember if I did it or not. But if you say it with confidence, like, or you know, you're feeling nostalgic, and also you add the word yoku often, then it's very clear that you're talking about memories in the past, like something you've done, something you used to do often. Yoku kazok to koko ni kitake. Or yoku walkman o kitake. It doesn't have to be the exact word yoku, it can be uh, my nichi every day, my shoe every week, something that shows frequency. The key is to sound confident and nostalgic. Okay, if you make it sound like a question, it would mean you're not sure if you did it or not. So if you say, Kazok to koko ni kitake, that means, did I come here with my family? I can't remember. But if I say it like, Kazok to koko ni kitake, it's like, oh, now I remember, yeah. I've been here with my family. And also, if you add words like yoku or words that express frequency, like yoku, mai shu, mai nichi, then it's also much clearer. Like, mai shu matsu kazoku to barbecue shite takke. Like, oh, now I remember I used to uh, have barbecues with my family on the weekends. All right, the last point. I mean, this is actually not the last, but the last one in this video. <laughs> you can use this monda when you are surprised, either positively or negatively, or when you are feeling angry or, you know, inspired. It can be positive and negative. For example, odoroita monda. This means, wow, I'm surprised, I'm shocked. You can just say, odoroita, odoroita monda. You probably would hear this more from TV shows or anime. It's, you know, generally you can just omit monda part and it's the same. Odoroita, I would say that's more common than saying odoroita monda. And you'd also probably encounter more in books, more in writing. So remember, another example. Like, you're shocked that the person was able to lie to you. You can say, Huh, yoku uso o tsuketa monda. Yoku uso o tsuketa monda. So yoku means often, right? But yoku plus this monda is like, I can't believe you did that or how could you? It doesn't have to be the past tense, by the way. You can also say, yoku uso o tsukeru monda. Like, I can't believe how you can just lie to me. Again, you don't have to add this monda. For example, personally, I would just say, yoku uso tsukeru ne. This sounds much more natural to me. Yoku uso tsukeru ne. How can you lie to me? So, as you can see, yoku on its own can still mean how could you, how can you? It's used when the speaker is surprised or can't believe. I can say, yoku niju jikan mo nerareru ne. I can't believe you can sleep for 20 hours straight. But again, it doesn't have to be something negative. It can be that you're surprised or you even feel inspired. Like, again, I personally would just omit monda here and say, Like, why I'm surprised you were able to have a speech in front of so many people. All ninzu is like many people. All ninzu no maede, in front of many people. So like I said, the last use of monda as like to express your surprise is not very common. But today we've learned two super common phrases. Jinse sonna monda. That's life. And also jinse steta mon janai. Uh, life isn't so bad. <laughs> yeah, remember that this monda can mean like normally, generally, that's the common belief, or should. 
do something because that's a common sense, right? So for example, I could say, Doga ga yaku ni tatsu to omotta ra kouhyouka botan wo osu mono desu. You should give this video a like if you find this video helpful. <laughs> but I also understand that not everyone is going to, you know, give a thumbs up. So I could say, ha. YouTube wa sonna mon da. That's how it goes on YouTube. <laughs> but I just want you to know that I really appreciate all of you. And I also know that the haters out there. But I want you to know that Hito ni yasashiku suru mono da. <laughs> or Hito ni yasashiku suru beki da. You should be nice to others. You should be nice to people. <laughs> So, you know, no need to go super hateful on other people online or in real life. It's just, you're wasting your time. Yeah, 時間の無駄だよ。時間の無駄だから人の悪口を言うもんじゃない。<laughs> But yeah, that's my life motto. Like, be as nice to others as possible and never ever bad mouth others. Because it's gonna come back to you. So, yeah, that's what the one quality I've always been proud of myself. Like, never talk shit about others、uh, because you're really wasting your time. It's like, why would you waste your energy and time on like attacking somebody and making others feel bad and also making you feel bad in the end? Uh, when you can actually give positivity, be nice to others, which leads them to be nice to you. So it's all good, like, you know, karma. <laughs> so, anyway, I don't know why I'm saying this because obviously, you guys who continue to watch my video till the end, you guys are obviously super nice, you guys are obviously the loveliest people, so thank you. I just want you to know that、uh, I'm on your side, I've got your back, even when somebody says nasty things about you, because I know you are for me, right? Like, yeah, I, there have been people, lots of people, who've said quite horrible things to me. Uh, even other YouTubers.、Um, but I know you guys are on my side, and so I really want you to know that you're a great person. You're choosing to learn something different, something new from another culture, and that's admiring. You know, that's very inspiring to others. <sighs> I don't know what I'm saying, but I just want you to know that. You're great, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And yeah, just hope you are happy. <laughs> Alright, ciao, またね bye bye.